Hello, my name is John Kinseth. I'm the Deputy City Manager for the City of Decatur. Today is Wednesday, May 5th. I'd like to take this as an opportunity to provide you with a weekly update uh, and some announcements of what's going on here in the City of Decatur. Over the last week, we've had 183 new COVID-19 cases and two additional deaths. Our cases continue to rise here in, in Decatur, Macon County, um, but it has stabilized uh, to where uh, we believe that we can start to see that trend go down. Vaccinations also continue. Uh, today, the Macon County Health Department is hosting a Pfizer walk-in clinic, uh, no appointment necessary. Um, so certainly if you have this as, a, uh, as an opportunity, uh, today is, is a good day to get a vaccination. Also on Friday, May 7th, uh, the uh, National Guard will be here uh, with the Macon County Health Department at their facility uh, administering Johnson & Johnson, the single vaccine, single dose vaccine. Um, and any resident over the age of 16, whether you're from Macon County or beyond, uh, is eligible to, uh, to get vaccinated on that date, uh, on Friday. Um, so far, uh, more than 60,000 vaccines have been administered here locally in uh, Macon County. Um, and we ask that you know our residents uh, continue to uh, to get the vaccine when when it's available to them. Uh, uh, really, because there's there's adequate capacity, um, and so if you're not going to do it for yourself, at least please consider doing it for your community, uh, for our businesses, for our restaurants, so that we can return to uh, normal. Uh, construction season has started here in, in, in Decatur. Uh, there are roads, curbs, sidewalks being replaced all over the city. Um, the uh, Grand Avenue uh, between MLK and Jasper, uh, just east of the viaduct, uh, will be reopened today. Uh, it's been closed due to the uh, warehouse fire over the weekend um, that uh, collapsed into some of the adjacent roadways. Uh, so the city is moving forward with getting that cleaned up and reopening uh, the road hopefully today. Um, Center Street Bridge at Stevens Creek on the west side of the city uh, it will be closed uh, sometime later this week. Uh, that is for a complete bridge replacement and so that uh, uh, Center Street at Stevens Creek will be closed uh, for the remainder of the summer uh, likely until uh, the late fall uh, just before Thanksgiving hopefully it will be uh, completed and reopened with a brand new bridge uh, to meet uh, the needs of the city. Um, the first citywide uh, cleanup uh, will be hosted next Wednesday, May 12th from 2 to 6 p.m. Um, an opportunity for residents to do some spring cleaning, get rid of all that uh, uh, garbage that uh, they haven't been able to get rid of uh, so far this year um, and uh, get rid of it without having to, to pay for it by bringing it here to the Civic Center uh, for our first citywide cleanup. The city will also be selling uh, boat fuel on the lake again this year. Uh, the previous public fueling spot has been uh, dismantled over the winter, um, but the new fueling location will be at the city docks uh, just adjacent to the city lakeside maintenance uh, building. Uh, so if you need your uh, fuel on the lake, uh, certainly rest assured that there is still an option for you to get it there uh, from the, the city, uh, city pumps. Last, uh, this past Monday night, the City Council uh, discussed a, and, and gathered a general consensus regarding the Business Route 51 uh, uh, project, uh, essentially from the Grand Avenue uh, to uh, Pershing, uh, will be uh, completely not only resurfaced, uh, but really rethought, if I can say it that way. Um, there will be a reduction in, in the number of lanes in both directions. There will be some additional streetscaping, pedestrian facilities uh, constructed as part of that, really greening, greening up that corridor, cleaning it up uh, significantly uh, from the uh, overabundance of, of uh, ill-managed uh, uh, pavement that's there. Uh, otherwise, the, the city still has a, uh, a number of COVID grants and funds available for both residents and businesses alike. Uh, so I certainly encourage you to seek out those opportunities. Uh, Dove has a rental assistance and uh, mortgage assistance, utility assistance available for those residents impacted by COVID-19. Uh, on the business side, uh, the city is still administering a grant uh, with CICD uh, for uh, small business uh, assistance. 
Uh, the city will also be uh, releasing round two of the big grant uh, next week, um, which will be another opportunity uh, for small businesses to get uh, hopefully uh, partially made whole at least uh, for some of the financial impacts that COVID-19 has had on their business uh, over the past uh, 14 months or so. Um, so next week, a uh, uh, big grant uh, should be announced uh, uh, on the city website, social media, et cetera. Look for that. Uh, the round one funded 60 businesses and we're hoping to, to fund the same or more under uh, this round two. Uh, the Small Business Administration also has the Restaurant Revitalization Fund. There's a number of other grants and opportunities available. Check out the city's COVID-19 page uh, to make sure that uh, you don't miss any of those opportunities. Um, Thank you and have a great uh, rest of the week.